we are not living in a rape culture. All right, get ready for some tranny on tranny crime because today I am responding to Cat Black. So Cat Black's a YouTuber who's about as balls deep in Tumblr social justice as one could possibly get, and balls deep is appropriate because she's a tranny. She's made quite a few questionable videos, including one about how white people should not be allowed to sing black songs, whatever the fuck that means. She's also known for saying some crazy things like having a preference for one race over another when you're dating is racist. But the video I'm going to be responding to is one where she talks about rape culture. Take it away, Kat. So I was walking home the other day and this guy followed me as I was walking to my apartment. He asked me where I was going and I said, home, smiling politely and quickly turning around. Then he asked me if he could come with me and I said, no, I'm okay. This time making sure that I had no eye contact with him. Then he asked me, can I get your number? And I said, sorry, no, thank you. Then he asked me, do you live alone? And I said, no, I live with my boyfriend, hoping that he would get the clue. Then he said, so can I get your number? Is that seriously the whole story? I was expecting some sort of climax. Should denying someone of their climax be considered rape? But no, seriously, are we supposed to view your story about a persistent creepy guy repeatedly asking for your phone number as somehow comparable to rape? or somehow evidence of a rape culture? Cause girl, that would make about as much sense as talking about a time that a homeless guy asked you for spare change and you say that that's evidence of a mugging culture. Rape culture is a culture in which sexual violence is considered the norm. Pakistan? It's a culture where girls going away to college are told that they should invest in pepper spray keychains, but doesn't teach boys about consent. Okay, this argument always fucks me up. How is teaching young girls to take measures to protect themselves somehow a bad thing? And teaching young boys not to rape is about as logical as teaching someone not to murder. Do you think someone morally bankrupt enough to actually rape someone is going to stop themselves because of some feminist, hate yourself if you're a man class they had to take in high school? It's a culture that tells women that the length of their skirt determines how truthful their claims of sexual violence are. This is probably one of the most annoying feminist straw mans to me. No one actually thinks that way. I've never even heard anyone outside of trolls on the internet use that argument, but yet feminists are constantly trying to counter it. Nice straw man cat. It's a culture that tells boys that when they're raped by a female teacher, that they should be thankful that they were able to land a hot chick at such a young age. Hmm, so do you also want to herd up all female teachers to consent courses? Not gonna hold my breath on that one. It's a culture that jokes freely about men getting what they deserve in prison from other inmates. You know what else happens in jail, Cat? Rapists and molesters have to be put in solitary confinement for their own safety and kept away from the rest of the prisoners because everyone hates rapists. Rapists routinely get the shit beat out of them in prison. That means that even the people in our society who we deem as having a low moral code, i.e. people in prisons, even they don't fucking like rape. We are not a rape culture. We are not a culture that has normalized rape. It's a culture that teaches men that street harassment is a favorable way of approaching a woman. Street harassment is not rape. It's a culture where I have to say no over and over and over again because men are taught that no secretly means yes. Citation needed. I mean, do you even care if what you're saying is true or not? Do you even care what your hair looks like before you get on camera? It's a culture where men are more willing to respect my rejection if they believe that I belong to another man. Wait, so men leave you alone when you're in a relationship? Well, fuck, that almost sounds perfectly respectable and completely non-rapey. Yeah, this whole argument's a failure. Rape culture is not the idea that we live in a society that supports the idea of rape, but rather that we live in a society that trivializes, downplays, and sometimes struggles to decipher sexual violence. Yeah, you can't really complain about society not being able to decipher what rape is, all the while smudging the waters and trying to include things like street harassment in the category of rape. Rape culture tells survivors of sexual violence that they are required to report their rapes, but only convicts 2% of reported rapists. I mean, rape is a really difficult crime to prove, it's kind of just the nature of the beast, but let's also not forget that the number one crime from which the Innocent Project has people released from prison is rape. Okay, so jokes aside, I have a bit of a personal story to tell you guys. When I was 18, I'm 22 now, I was actually sexually assaulted. With that being said, I think that's actually why I have an issue when I hear feminists say that we live in a rape culture. I do not live in a society where my experience was trivialized in any way, shape, or form. 
I live in a society where people like the person who hurt me face consequences. So if you want to make the argument that the Middle East is a rape culture, go ahead and do that. I think there will still be some flaws in that argument, but I think it will be a whole lot better than trying to prove that the Western world is a rape culture. And furthermore, Cat Black, how fucking dare you sit up on YouTube to your platform and make it seem like teaching young girls to protect themselves is somehow a bad thing. That is such a fucking disservice to your viewers. Because I don't care who you are, male, female, white, black, tranny, midget, midget tranny, you need to be carrying something to protect yourself because you never know when something can happen. I only wish I was carrying something to defend myself in my situation. To pretend that it's toxic for people to take measures to protect themselves and their bodies is stupid. Whew, that got dark for a second. I need to lighten the mood. I would tell a rape joke, but I think that might just be a little too forced.